Welcome to this episode of Sunny Silver Linings. Sunny's guest today is Ronnie March. Ronnie is the CHRO of our very own IT by Design. Ronnie excels in her ability to diagnose organizational effectiveness opportunities and to distill her world-class experience, insight, and techniques into practical, impactful, and cost-effective solutions that leave the business and its people better for the experience. And now, your host, the founder and CEO of IT by Design, Mr. Sunny Kayla. Over to you, Sunny. Ronnie, thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast, my special guest today. Well, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here, Sunny. You always talk about uh, creating success together. Always, always, always. And I want to talk about that. What does it mean? What does it mean uh, in terms of creating success together? Creating success is my tagline, and it is something that I'm very passionate about. And what I mean by creating success together is when you are looking to sell a product buy a product, uh, um, build a new business, uh, drive a strategy. Who are all of the individuals that will be impacted by this initiative? And how can you map out those individuals to understand how we can create success together with each and every individual to drive that to the greatest success possible? If you if you think upfront of how do I create success together and plan that creation together, then you will have the ultimate success. How can one, as a small business, do what they have to do along with being intentional about investing time into your people? And like sometimes it's just more of also priorities. Uh, from the perspective of, okay, okay, what do you see and the value that you see? And sometimes there is connection to understand as well. So what's your advice to that small business owner or managers in small business where normally what you hear from them is, I don't have time for this. Right. And, you know, my first reaction to that is, this is the one thing you want to make time for because the war for talent is real. You hear it, that tech people are being recruited and recruited and recruited away, and they're being hired and they're recruited out again within three months. And the cost to replace a full-time employee can cost you upwards of the annual salary of that employee on a regular basis. And the drain on all of your other employees continues to exasperate that. And so the suggestion is that find the time and it doesn't need to be exorbitant amounts of times. I look at coaching sessions as 15 minute coaching sessions once a month. I can do a success coaching session in 15 minutes with each person and they feel that they are connected. Mm -hmm. And as a leader, you should have, you know, no more than 10 direct reports at 15 minutes. So once a month, so you're driving it and then collectively looking at how can we collectively get a voice of employees? So maybe there's a employee suggestion ideas. We're looking for innovation and we have a suggestion. And once a month, you pull out all your suggestions and you go through and thank everybody and give them accolades and show where that where those innovations are so great and then show the one or two that you've decided to implement. Yeah. And so but it starts with small steps of moving forward. It's not a big bang of now we're doing all of this, but you slowly increase. And when people start to feel that they are valued, that is the key for retention. I am valued, I am respected, and somebody wants my voice in driving this business. Yeah. We can all go work for Google and Microsoft and get free lunches and play ping pong all day and, and sit, lay on a couch with our computers. We can all go do that. But can we actually get our voice valued by the CEO of an organization, that's the difference in a small organization is that the CEO can lend their ear and generously listen to what the employees have to say and use that to move the business forward. So it's tough to make the time, but think about it as small incremental spots of 15 minutes yeah. that will get you that voice and you will create success together with that voice. And when people start hearing about creating success together and I want your voices heard, 
their voices start coming through fast and furious. They want to meet with their managers. They want to make sure they're bringing ideas to you. They want uh, avenues to get that those suggestions to you. So create those uh, inboxes where employees can send suggestions and move from there. Yeah. No, yeah. So what I'm hearing uh, as a small business owner, if I'm a small business owner, uh, that uh, I have a choice to make. Either I'm intentional about those incremental changes, protecting some time that's 15 minutes uh, in my calendar to hear that voice. And when people feel heard, people feel valued, what you said, okay, when people feel valued, your retention will go up, their overall productivity goes up. That is at the bottom line. I mean, that adds to the bottom line because the cost of hiring goes down and your time investment, Ronnie. So either I am keep investing my time in interviewing and finding those people, you know, replacements where I need to find replacements because of that voice not being heard is leaving me and uh, investing time on the hiring side or I can be proactive and take that time intentionally at the upfront and invest that time to make people feel heard where retention goes up and the cost of hiring goes down. And that helps the, the, the customer side as well. But the time exactly. I have to invest in leadership, in people, either I do that proactively to hear that voice or I am keep being reactive and keep spending that time on interviews to replace. I have to spend that time. I have a choice to make hiring time or retaining time. Where do I need to invest? The time and investment is going to be probably less to hear that voice rather than keep making those replacements uh, made and probably hiring mistakes that are up as well because with new hires, you don't know what you don't know until you work with the people for a few months. So there is just so much. So there's a lot more ROI than sometimes uh, we think as uh, entrepreneurs, as small business owners uh, in investing in people uh, at the, you know, to, to really have that culture strong. So you also talk about the, the connection with your PL, connection with your bottom line, connection with your customer. Uh, retention and customer experience. So can you give us a little bit more, can you elaborate on that? The uh, creating success together culture, impacting customer retention, customer engagement. Great, yes. Well, I'm gonna, I'm going to spin off of what you've said there, Sunny. Um, the retention of a consistent workforce. Yeah. Only can, and that consistent workforce that knows your customer and knows your products and knows your organization are only going to be able to provide exemplary customer service and exemplary knowledge of your customers because they've had that consistent tenure with your organization and they have that knowledge, which new hires will not. So yeah. if you can consistently maintain your employees to drive that and you have the voice, then it's about, okay, so I've created success with my employees. I now have my, I'm retaining my employees. They're all invested. They're bringing me great innovative ideas. We're driving their performance, which is ultimately driving our business performance. How can I create success together now with my customers? And so it's about approaching it with what can I do to help my customers be more successful? Because if my customers are more successful, they, they will need more of me so that I can help them be more successful. And so it's looking at, here's an example. I had an organization where we were winning global awards on customer satisfaction surveys. We were winning awards globally on our uh, customer service. And from that customer service, we had built this award-winning platform of training all of our employees. So as an HR leader, I went to the business and said, you know what? I think we need to create success together with our customers. I would like to offer that we provide new hire training for their customer service reps and our customers. And so that they can learn how to give world-class service. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that for free. 
And we're giving that to our customers to help them be successful. And when that new hire comes to us, we will have our executives have breakfast with them. We will then have our go through the training for the morning. We'll then have our customer service reps meet with them and go through their, their CRM interview of getting to know those new hires really well, et cetera. And then they finish their course for the day and they go back to their job. That, that new hire is now very invested in us as an organization because we've invested in their career. We don't even know them. We've invested in their career and their success and their performance. That company is now saying, wow, our people are now doing all this customer service and we've invested in them for no cost. So when, so the, the goal of any new business this customer wants or any increased ask they have is we're now going to be their first call because we have built that relationship because we put their success as a priority as a business, not just what we're selling. We wanted them to be successful because it's all about a whole successful paradigm of your employees, your customers, your vendors, and how do we all create success together? Mm -hmm. And by doing that and not leaving it on one company to be successful in that we're all connected is where we create that connection and success paradigm. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Employee success or creating success together on the culture side uh, is uh, there is a direct relation with creating success with the customer and at the end of the day, Ronnie, what you mentioned earlier is, is that uh, that connection uh, helps you uh, expand your kind of uh, value creation uh, with the customer. Mm-hmm. And you are successful if people, uh, are, people see you as a valuable uh, partner. And so with your example of, uh, you know, helping on the customer uh, training side or customer, yeah. So the trainings or the new hires coming uh, from that uh, awards example that you have given. Uh, so you are helping the customer going above and beyond with what you have, and especially your engaged people when they have uh, that smile on their face, and they that's the only way for them to put that smile on the customer face. And as an organization, when you have that success internally, then you can share that success with your customers and sharing that success with the customers uh, adds more value to the customer that brings that loyalty that you mentioned earlier, the customer loyalty, and that leads to customer retention. And customer retention uh, reduces your cost to acquire customer. Either you are retaining your customers Uh, growing your customers, and you don't need to go to invest too much in your sales and marketing to bring in new logos, because bringing in new logos cost you at least 10x more than uh, doing, I mean, bringing business from your existing customers. And the customer retention is key to building a sustainable business and building a word of mouth business, because the referral-based business can only come from your customer loyalty and that is so key. So coming back to our creating success together culture, and you see how valuable it is for the business and the, for the PL of the business, cash flow of the business, balance sheet of the business, and our focus, our mindset. So rather than being tech-centric, if we can be people, culture-centric technology companies, we, our business will definitely win as a byproduct. And thank you so much for sharing those incredible, incredible insights. Do you have anything else to add to this conversation? Well, I just, one more thing, because the War for Talent is so key and, um, you know, gone through this uh, recently with helping uh, companies move forward with their talent acquisition. Always remember to treat people with kindness and grace and a red carpet style on your way into the company, but also on your way out. And so employees that may not be at the level we need for their skill or their performance may not necessarily be there, et cetera. As small organizations, we only hire the best talent. So they may be fantastic talent, but not 
great for what we need right now. So when talent are exiting your organization, make sure you create those relationships and help them create success in their next career move because they may want to come back to you one day or they may have relatives or friends that could work for us one day. And you want to be able to go to them and say, I have all these jobs open. If you know anybody, please let me know. And so it's all about ensuring that we're taking care of people that have been a part of our communities. And that, you know, just because they're no longer with our organization doesn't mean we're not still trying to create success with them and, and building those relationships. Because Talent is key and getting talent is very difficult, especially with the war for talent that's out there right now. And so ensuring that we are always looking at our brand when we are hiring people and exiting people so that we are always being seen as a destination employer. Yeah, that's awesome. So entry to exit experience. And special attention to entry and exit, uh, red carpet during the entry, red carpet during the exit uh, will really, really uh, help organizations to, to really be successful. And especially, Ronnie, when you mention red carpet out and at ITBD, what comes to my mind is that ITBD alumni community that we build. And the whole purpose there is that uh, if someone sees grass, I mean, uh, grass is greener on the other side and they want to explore the world, but be step as a part of our alumni community because we have given them uh, red carpet treatment. We focused on their feeling, how they felt during exit and they are part of our alumni. And after exploring the world, getting more experience, uh, they will always remember us. And if they, Uh, want to come back, that's their connection with us because we treated them right during exit. And they, if, you know, uh, and other value there is that referrals and who do they know that they can refer to ITPD that is so powerful, that's so awesome. And building that talent community at exit will come from your red carpet advice and then staying connected with that uh, alumni community is so powerful. And thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us today. Well, thank you for creating success with me today. I appreciate it, Sunny. It's been an absolute honor. Thank you. Thank you.